Tablets these days are becoming a laptop alternative, especially for people who are looking for an all-in-one device without breaking the bank. There are tablets out there that cost more than a powerful laptop when fully paired up with a keyboard, pen, and other accessories as they come separate with the tablet you are buying. And mind you, they are pretty expensive. If you are looking for a tablet functionality that is comparable to an iPad and can easily be paired up with accessories that will not break the bank, the Huawei MatePad 11.5 might be your best bet. What's up guys, we're all here for Tech, and in today's video, we are taking a closer look at the Huawei's latest offering in the tablet segment, the Huawei MatePad 11.5. Right off the bat, the Huawei MatePad 11.5 feels premium to the touch as it is made out of an aluminum material, making it sturdy and increase in rigidity. The back panel looks clean as you only have the Huawei logo in landscape orientation as well as the camera module with a slight protrusion. Up front, we have the 11.5-inch TFT LCD display with a front-facing camera situated in the middle of the frame. On the left side of the device, we have the two of the quad speaker grills along with the sleep wake buttons, while on the right side, we do get the other two speaker grills and the USB Type-C port. Now situated at the top of the device, we have the dual microphone for calls as well as the volume rocker. Overall, this device looks very minimalistic and very straightforward. One complaint that we have here is the placement of the volume rocker as it is placed in the top left corner of the device, which might be a struggle to press. It could have been placed on the right side of the device, but yeah, there's that. Now for colors, you only have space gray as an option. When it comes to the display, we have the huge 11.5 inch TFT LCD panel with support for 120Hz refresh rate. It has a resolution of 2200 by 4040, which translates to 229 ppi. Viewing angles are good and bezels are fairly thin, giving us an overall screen to body ratio of 87%. That means we have plenty of screen real estate to our disposal. The screen on the Mate Pad is sharp, colors looks okay. It's not saturated like we have on OLED, but we feel like it does look a little pale to the eyes and leans towards the bluish side. But don't worry as it didn't cause any eye strain to us when we used this device for a prolonged period of time. And also, this device is actually a 2K display so expect to have an immersive viewing experience. Navigating through the UI is butter smooth thanks to that 120Hz refresh rate. Now when it comes to the audio, the Huawei MatePad 11.5 packs a quad speaker setup which is loud. What I mean by loud is it can easily fill up the room with just around 7% of volume. Now quality wise, it is balanced with equal highs and mids. Lows on the other hand is a bit lacking but nevertheless the speaker on this device is quite good. For performance, the Huawei MatePad 11.5 packs a Qualcomm Snapdragon 7 Gen 1 chip that is paired up with an Adreno 644 GPU with either 6 or 8 gigs of RAM and 128 gigs of internal storage. Using the device feels snappy even with multiple apps running in the background. They haven't gotten any issues when multitasking, playing graphically intensive games at a medium settings, but sometimes even at high graphics settings available, editing photos and videos. Basically, this tablet handled everything you throw at it. That 120Hz display that we mentioned earlier also does contribute to the snappiness of this device. We run it through our usual benchmarking apps and here's the result that we got. With all these results, clearly the Huawei MatePad 11.5 can be a powerful tool for those people who are seeking for a tablet for productivity. Moving on to its cameras, we have a 13 megapixel rear camera that has an aperture of 5.8, paired up with an 8 megapixel front facing camera with an aperture of 2.2. Well, on a tablet, you wouldn't really bring it to a bar, concert, or anything alike, as you would probably use this to scan documents, take photos of something for annotation and notes, and I tell you, if you need those important text and details, the resolution you would get from the Huawei MatePad 11.5's camera is enough. Sure, it wouldn't be as sharp, there's no night mode or any of those features that we mostly get on a smartphone, but surely it will get things done. The front facing camera is also enough and can produce high quality images and is definitely enough for video conferencing. For videos, the Huawei MatePad 11.5 can record up to a whopping 4K resolution at 30 frames per second. 
Video output is good, although there is no any form of video stabilization, but shakiness is not prominent on this kind of form factor. Running on this tablet is Huawei's Harmony OS 3.1. It is basically a Huawei-ized version of Android, so you will still get those security updates and most Android features that you might be used to. Some might argue that, meh, one on Google services, yeah, but there is, sort of. You can install Google Play services here like Gmail, G Drive, Docs, basically everything through Qbox, which can be easily downloaded through the Huawei App Gallery. We have a complete tutorial on how to install Gbox and apps that you can install on the Huawei App Gallery. If you want to watch that, click here or click the link down in the description box below. There are several pre-installed apps here like Booking.com, Agoda, and there are a few pre-made folders that contains games, businesses, entertainment, social, and lifestyle, but these can be easily uninstalled. Aside from the pre-installed apps, you will also find here other Huawei tools like Kids Corner and Pedal Maps. The UI is pretty intuitive. When you are new to Huawei devices, it will feel the same as any other Android tablet or smartphone for that matter. And since this is a tablet, you have apps like M-Pen Zone, wherein you can easily install apps that can help you take advantage of that M-Pen. When M-Pen Zone is open, you will be greeted with an organized app market. There's a section for taking notes, annotations, and painting. And from there, you can install apps that you think you need it. The UI also does support some keyboard shortcuts and functionalities like adjusting the brightness, closing the app, copy and paste text, just how you do it on a regular computer. There's also a shortcut for voice assistant if you are into that kind of stuff. When it comes to productivity, there is a multi-window support. You can open up to three windows here at once one in a full screen mode and the other two in floating window mode. There is a minimized feature here. When an app is minimized, there will be a small bubble icon. So if you want to switch apps, you can just tap the small bubble icon on the corner of the screen and you will see a host of apps you minimize in floating windows for. One thing that is missing here is a drag and drop feature, which we wish be added soon on future updates. The Huawei MatePad 11.5 has a massive 7,700mAh battery, so expect that this device will last you at least a day or two depending on how you use it. Unfortunately, it doesn't support fast charging, so expect to charge it somewhere between 1.5 hours from 0 to 50%, but we run it through our standard video loop test and PC Mark Work 3.0 battery test, and here are the results that we got. The battery on this device is stellar, it's just that it takes time to fill up to a full, which might be a deal breaker to some consumers. How about you? What would you pick? A device with a large battery that can last you long, but with no form of fast charging like this one? Or a small battery capacity with a fast charging feature? Let us know in the comment section below. Now to finally conclude this review of the Huawei Mate 11.5, if you are looking for a great alternative for a laptop or a desktop or maybe you want an iPad but don't want to spend so much for a tablet, the Huawei Mate 11.5 deserves a spot on your list. With an attractive price of 19,999 pesos for the 8 gigs of RAM and 128 gigs of internal storage, this device is really a good buy. Huawei is running an early bird promo where you can get the Huawei Mate 11.5 at a price that we mentioned earlier and it will come with a detachable magnetic keyboard which retails for 6,999 pesos, an MPED second generation worth 5,999 pesos, a PC level WPS office that costs 4,999 pesos, 3 month subscription to view, and an adventure coupon worth 1,000 pesos, all for free. This promo only runs starting August 11 to 31 of 2023. The Huawei Mate 11.5 also comes with 6 gigs of RAM plus around 20 gigs of internal storage variant at a much more affordable price of 15,899 pesos. Pretty aggressive promos for a device that can serve everything that you need. So there you have it guys, what do you guys think about the Huawei Mate 11.5? Do let us know in the comment section below and if you find this video helpful, be sure to drop a like, 
subscribe to our channel for more content, hit the bell icon so you won't miss any future uploads, and don't forget to follow us on Facebook, TikTok, Instagram, and Twitter, and do visit ugedek.com for the latest tech news and reviews. Once again, this has been Aurel, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.